Hello everyone, welcome back to Elden Ring. Uh, in the comments of my previous videos, quite a few people have told me uh, that I should be exploring Kaelid. Uh, Kaelid apparently is a, the zone to be in, so to speak. So I'm not going to argue with people's recommendations. I'm going to do it. We're going to have a look at Kaelid. Because the Altus Plateau and towards Lanedale is, well, pretty difficult to say the least. And you know, the thing is that I've basically explored most of the optional dungeons. I did quite a lot, which you will see in Elden Ring Explorations. So I think, oh, that's an interesting weapon probably. So I think this is sort of our, our way to go. Now, of course, there's probably a fuck ton of poison and everything bad here. Which is something we're going to have to deal with. See, I still don't know what the hell these do. I guess they point towards something. Not unlike those, you know, those other statues. Oh, fuck. Interesting. Why does a plant have magic? Someone answer that. Oh, are you... Mm. Fucking kidding me. I hate how easily, like, the simplest enemies can knock you off the horse. It's like... You see, because for some reason, I it almost seems like the horse gets stunlocked easier than your character. It almost seems like the hit stun of the horse is a little bit longer than uh, for your guy. Oh, do they point towards what you call it? You know, keys? What are they called? Stone sword keys. Miranda powder. I'm hoping there is a shit where you can craft like stuff to counteract Scarlet Rot. I know I've found already sort of the ingredients. Yeah, they, that's what it's pointing towards. Unfortunately, I've... Yeah, I've spent all my stone swords. Probably as a waste. Really, the thing is, uh, this will... These, like, stone sword keys will be sort of coming to fruition in later playthroughs because... You know, because I'm not looking stuff up, it's a complete crapshoot as to what I'm going to get. The main thing I've been getting so far, which I kind of can't do anything with, is a bunch of spells. So, yeah, those don't help me. But obviously, with the magic playthroughs coming later on, and the... The sort of knowledge I'll have of the game. Yeah, yeah, screw these guys. I feel like if I just fight them, it's gonna end badly. I wanna get to the map. Or I wanna get to the side of Grace. Yeah, they are being extremely, extremely generous with sides of Grace in this area. Like, crazily so. Alright, let's head towards... Do I have it marked? Yeah, I do. Let's head towards there. See if anything interesting is in the way. Oh fuck, is that a dragon? That's a dragon. Decay in S... Exe keys. You have a shit ton of HP, cool. And... I almost wanna bet... Cash. That you inflict Scarlet Rot. Yeah, he does. Of course he does. Like... We had quite a few of these dragons already, man. And like, this is the Scarlet Rot one. Cool. I mean, I could probably do this. They sort of all have the same attacks, so... You know. That works to my advantage. And I'm pretty sure you can... Oh, fuck. Hey, does he do... Crazy. Does he do Scarlet Rot from his... Stomp attack. Yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah, that probably has... 
Oh man. Wait. No. What? That's not fair. Bruh, you can teleport. It's gonna take like a year. Is he? Oh no, no he's not. I thought I stunned him. Oh fucking... What? What the hell was that AoE? I kept running and it just didn't run out. Shit. Yeah, the thing is, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna skip him. I wanna get the map. And he, he's strong, he's strong, so we'll just, you know, chill for a bit. He can always come back, you know. There's nothing to it. Can you... Did, am I out of range for you? Cool, I got the map. It would be nice to take a look at it. I think we're good. Alright, what do we got? Street, sa Street of Sages Ruin. Okay, let's just check it out. We have stuff here. The road, it continues. I'm assuming this is a point of interest. I still need to kind of go here. And then we know about this side. Yeah. Okay. I think we have... Because this is just the giant poison swamp. Yeah, Aeonia Swamp, sure. I don't really want to deal with another poison swamp. And then this is... Another castle. So we have two castles. Uh, and I'm assuming one of them is gonna be the big boss. What you got? Champion headband. Okay. Oh, is this what... This is what... What's her name? Where's? Contains information about advantageous use of gravity. For 800? Hella worth it. Arrows. Yeah, I'm, see, I'm not really using arrows. I'm gonna be honest with you. Cool. He's still there. Unbelievable. Okay. This better be some good shit. Gravitational power that pulls can bring flying foes low. Oh shit. Is it talking about... I think I know what it's talking about. It's talking about these, right? Gravity well and all that. Is it like used to counteract flying enemies? Which there are actually quite a lot of in this game I'm assuming all right let's head towards the castle I already see something something dangerous and then wait there is this whole other like massive place here Okay, yeah, that looks like a dungeon for sure. And then underneath us... Oh, there's like a beach or something. Which... Probably need like a spirit spring or something to get down there. Cool. I'm just gonna head towards the castle. I do really like the look of this area, uh, by the way. I don't think I've talked about this too much. But I genuinely do like it. Fe it feels different to... Basically any other... Or is he just gonna be fucking throwing shit at us? I think so. Oh, he's throwing pot boys that explode. Yeah, I do like that it feels different to... That deals quite a lot of damage. You know the solution to shit like that. Can I finish my thought, please? Yeah, so the nice thing about this area is that it feels different to pretty much anything else in any other Souls game. I mean, we've had Celia Gateway. Nice. Stop by the shack. I got you, fam. What the hell? <laughs> oh, is it... I thought that was like an NPC or something. Like, not NPC, but it was like friendly or something. Do you see how it like... It had like a f color on or something. Alright, I'm here in the shack. What up? Gauri's shack. I 
I don't trust anyone who has his hands like that. You gotta be evil. Is he gonna fucking send us to the poison swamp? Okay. What are you gonna want us to do? Okay. I'm okay with that. Sickness that afflicts Millicent has no cure. When the earth tree flourished, even the demigods could not stave off its effects, despite their nigh godhood. But Millicent's suffering can be ameliorated. For this, you are to find a certain needle. Seek the deep scarlet swamp of Aeria outside Celia's bounds. The needle Oh, come on. Literally needle in a haystack. Fine. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got you. Still gonna look at the town because he said like beyond. I'm assuming he thought he's talking about here. Yeah, whatever. Let's take a look. There are like so many sort of like magic areas, right? We This is like the third one so far. Celia Town of Sorcery, exactly. This one is a little bit worse for wear than the other ones. Oh, fuck. It's the last thing I needed. More of you guys. And they're invisible too. Oh, because they're little ghosts. So this doesn't seem, you know, and I probably should go off horse here. This doesn't seem so bad, but yeah, like a lot of, a lot of magic areas. I'm assuming they're all connected and there's a proper lore explanation, but still. Okay. We probably should find a way to open it, if it's possible. What a bruz. You're quite a bit weaker than you used to be. I will mention that. Like having a whatever plus 15 weapon or something that I have. Shit, everything is locked. Is that what this dude is gonna do if we rescue... What was her name? Is he gonna unlock all this shit? That would be nice of him. Alright, Assassin's Creed. Let's do this. There's something there. Probably just an enemy, but still. You can always take a look. But I do I do like being able to Assassin's Creed our way through here. I mean obviously this doesn't come close to what Sekiro did in terms of mobility, but for like a more traditional Souls game, this is This is up there, man. Oh What the hell are you? I can't break the windows. Okay, did I just get back to the start? I think so. Okay, I'm going along a different path here. This seems like an exit, maybe. Or an alternate route. Nah, it's just another path. Okay, whatever. This area is weird, I'm just gonna point that out. Just, I don't know. 
I'm gonna go through and I'm not sure if there's anything else to do other than just run through. Not gonna lie. Oh, cool. It's all blocked. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, I can only imagine that this is related to the quest itself. Uh, because the guy did say that he's gonna reward us, so I'm assuming. I was in there under the impression that this is sort of the main attraction here, but I kind of don't think so anymore. Probably it's the other castle. That one looked a little bit more like imposing. Oh, and I really don't want to go into the swamp. Luckily we have torrent. Whatever. Let's do it. At least we don't get poisoned here with this. Rod oh, new doggo. Cool. I know that there's a doggo in this game. I've heard about it on Twitter, I think. That's broken. And it deals like 11,000 damage with one attack or something crazy like that. Yeah. GG's too easy, right? I have no idea what the hell this is. Like, we've seen this before. And it just don't do jack shit. Or at least I have not been able to figure out what it does. Okay, so we're looking for an NPC. I'm assuming all that Scarlet Bong coming out of the ground would kill us. Or would poison us. <laughs> this is... <laughs> cool. This one deals damage too. And it doesn't explode. Okay, I'm gonna try... Oh yeah, it's just... The ground is farting. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have a look around here. Let's see if we find anything. Oh, this is the place. You know what? There is a dungeon here. I'm not against exploring this dungeon. Let's take a look. It's not even a dungeon, it's just a little, you know, cave or whatever. Probably gonna have a boss? No boss. Is it gonna teleport me away? No, it's not. Rock sling. Oh, it's another sorcery. See, this is the same thing with those uh, stone sword key things as well. Most of them just lead to spells, which I currently kind of don't have any use for, because... I use magic, but not to that extent. Traveler. Nice. Perfumer. Cool. Oh, hello there. Hello, hello. Let me see it, if only one last time. Your splendid blade dancing among the scarlet rot. Checkpoint. Oh wait, I've had this. I've... See, I was gonna say that dialogue sounded very familiar. Because I've unlocked this already. Oh fucking hell, come on. Please tell me this is safe. We're gonna have an invader. Invaded by Millicent. Isn't Millicent... Weird. Okay, she's easy. Oh yeah? Do I have solutions to your bullshit? What the... Shit was that. That's cool. Yeah. GG's too easy. 
Millicent has died. Sacramental bud. Some golden runes. Nice. A lot of golden runes. All right. Who the hell are you? Is it, she looks like from like from the intro, right? Melinia or whatever her name was. Oh, okay. Like you guys remember. Also from all the trailers to the green to the game. People thought that that was going to be the main character. You guys remember how like early on People even were theorizing that this game is gonna have, like, a, a main character, like Elden Ring. Kind of crazy. I can't fucking find her. Um, what the hell? Commander O'Neill? Commander No Neil. So I ain't gonna do this with Scarlet Rod on my ass. Mm, I think this is gonna lead to <laughs> a checkpoint. Or is it not? He's still going, bitch. Oh, nice. Rune arcs. Sacramental bud. And smithing stones. Listen, I'm just trying to run away from him. I am completely lost, so... What I was trying to do with my map is mark his location so that I can make my way back, but... That doesn't appear to be a thing I can do currently. Oh, come on. Thank you. Okay, we're back here. And the dude was somewhere... Like, right there, right? Like, opposite. Okay, let's try it. Let's see what he got. Really like to avoid these... Other enemies I say as I walk into one straight away all right commander O'Neill shit you have a lot of HP but then again not that much oh is he like a he's turned my weapon against me spirit summons that ain't fair oh and he's buffing them too Okay. I got you. I got you, game. I understand what this is about. Okay, we gotta get off. Deal more damage. Fucking hell does he have... What? Listen. You are not meant to be here. You... No, we, we don't need you here. I'm having a fight with Commander O'Neill. Solo. Oh, shit. I don't know if he's spewing Scarlet Rod or not. It buffed her too. Unbelievable. Alright, lesson learned. You gotta take them out before coming here. This is gonna give yourself more problems. Cool. I'm assuming... Yeah. <laughs> I assumed correctly. Maybe a faster weapon would be better. I mean, that doesn't do any damage, but... He is humanoid, so... I'm assuming bleed will work. God, you track quite a lot. AI yeah, it does work. That's what I was afraid of. So yeah, he's, he's not that difficult. God damn delays. Okay, he's gonna summon. 
Yup. Who did you? Oh. I wonder if that's fixed or random. Uh, no, 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 don't get the buff off. But this makes sense, you know. When he summons horseback, another fucking... Listen, I don't like this. Random enemies just keep getting involved in this battle. And that's like the last thing I have any need for. Clean rod gauntlets, nice. Yeah, you are not needed. Your words are not needed, as Sagat says in Street Fighter V. There's a reference for you. Okay. Drink this. It increases my max HP and stamina recovery, because... It's kind of what I'm feeling like. Gonna be honest with you boys, I really don't want to die right now. He has very strange timings, like, it's a lot more delayed than you would think. Okay, come on, two Estuses, two Esti. There's a phone going off in the... <laughs> that took like ages. But now I know what his deal is. So... I'll be able to do this better. Okay, I'm at this stage already. So, lesson learned. He summons the same enemies every single time. Which is actually... Fairly convenient. The one thing he has, which you gotta be... That. That's what you really gotta be careful of oh no that's not it he has this bullshit like scarlet rod attack and that like really that hurts that attack hurts so uh plus you know if you get scarlet rotted against this guy i think you're pretty much fucked i'm gonna try whittling him down a little bit before going in he is strong obviously he has like very delayed attacks, so you gotta be careful with your dodges. Okay, I'm gonna save the heal and we'll try bleeding him one last time. You can do quite a bit of bleed from horseback too. See, that's not that tracking though. Come on! Cool, bleed saves the day. That was good. That, that was a good fight. I did like that. Commander standard. Oh, nice. Oh, and this is the thing, isn't it? This is the thing we need for the chick. I, I gotta look I gotta look up where she is, like seriously. Um I can spend like an hour wandering around this goddamn swamp. Unless she's like right behind. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh apparently she's not inside the swamp. I yeah, I, I looked it up. Uh she is somewhere like over here or like like here. And apparently there are braziers in this place that you can light. Which I've not seen a single one, but I'm sure I was just blind. Which will allow you to like unlock some of these gates and let you progress. So we sort of have a new quest here. And not sure, you know, like my sense of navigation is not the best as you guys know. So we'll see if I can actually find a single one of these things. I'm assuming they look sort of like the things did in the underground. Oh shit, is this one of these paintings? Yeah, it is. Cool. I've not like made the effort to look at a single one of these so far, but 
cool. See, this is, yeah, this is what I'm thinking. Like, they're on the roof. Yeah, it, it, it's no wonder they let you climb on the roofs like this. Cool. The question is, ha, <laughs> okay. Horse parkour always saves the day. And then the third one is like somewhere back on the other side. Naisu, a seal was broken in town somewhere. Yeah, those ones are staying, it seems like. Unless you don't get to separately interact with these, right? I actually don't know. Well, let's check it out. I, mean, I know I've been going for quite a while, but there is a bit to cut out here. Nah, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. I'm gonna take a look at... The, yep, it's gone. Nice. Ooh. See, that wasn't so hard. I, I don't know, like... I should have been... Sort of... Cognizant, to use a fancy word, of the fact that... They let you go on the roof for a reason. And this gives you a perfect side of grace. Excellent. Yeah, I'll go back in there and pick up the treasures, which I'm assuming, because there were like seals on the bottom as well. And yeah, we can go to the NPC and also level up. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode of Elden Ring here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed as always. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do all the usual, and I hope to catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.